to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. We are back with our weekly look at uh, current affairs. This week we will treat the major stories of the week, uh, giving our perspectives on what has been in your newspapers and radios for the last seven days. They include, of course, a big story for women in the Gambia. The Banjul mayor has become the president of the African local government heads, Refela. That uh, took place. The meeting took place, of course, with local government officials throughout the continent in Kenya. We will also look at the recent statement from the central bank, warning or barring, I mean, uh, foreign exchange owners from being paid in foreign currency. What does that mean for the Gambia? We will have one of our panelists to give his perspective from the new outlook of both the cabinet and the legislature. All this, plus we will talk football because in the next couple of weeks, the Gambia will take on South Sudan in the first day of a six-match series for journey to the African Nations Cup 2023. That match will take place in chess. Well, you know, of course, the background is that our stadium is not fit for any level of such football. We will have the team of uh, event management from the GFF in the studio to take us through the preparations for that match. But first, let me start by welcoming my panelist, uh, Abubakar Sankano. He is from the Ministry of uh, Information and Communications, director now, I think. No, not yet. We are still waiting. <laughs> still waiting for that. <laughs> Said Matijau is a member of the Civil Society Organization and a lecturer of political science at the University of the Gambia. Said, welcome. 
Thank you. Let Sammy. me start with you because you yes. have been around yes, since, since, since huh? like you disappeared <laughs> <laughs> since the elections. <laughs> you followed the presidential election very well on this panel and had given it your thoughts. What were are this this time? What do you think of the parliamentary elections? Yeah, I mean, I think the the parliamentary elections were, I mean, like the presidential was successful as well, but also in terms of the results, it was uh, surprising and not surprising. I mean, um, I think I've always wanted to have a diverse parliament, parliament where, you know, you have representatives from as many political parties as possible, mm -hmm. because then that will allow for maybe greater voice. Mm -hmm. But of course, I understand that the major challenge within that um, kind of arrangement is the fact that how do you you know i mean make parliament to work together in 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 terms of um you know their address uh, i mean in terms of uh, making decisions coming up with bills and all that of course when it is too diverse uh, there's a possibility of polarization um, but of course uh, it is usually important in that sense so that you can have more political parties more um you know communities also represented so i was expecting that and to a large extent we've seen that uh, you know, with this um, uh, with this parliament, mm -hmm. and 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 so my expectation is perhaps that they will learn from the uh, the the division that existed in the past and yeah. try to see how best they can put um, government Gambia's interests in in the forefront because now they are all representing Gambia um, basically. Are they not potentially more divided than now politically? Since you, you I mean, yeah. I mean, you have now <laughs> stake new stakeholders there. Yeah, I, I think if you look at the starting, you know, the, the, the starting was a little bit tough. Mm. But I, I mean, I was just saying it's the first day. Maybe it's just a little continuation of what was there before. Uh, of course, in the, the, the broader politics is that we are polarized to an extent. And yeah. I think that is also what is also reflected in parliament. Mm. But, but I think now going through induction, going through planning, getting to know each other, knowing that they are responsible for what they are doing collectively or mean at, at their own individual level, I think that will help change. So, but the beginning has been a little tough. Uh, I, I think that will change. But for me, what is also interesting is like the the, the composition. I mean, NPP that won like fifty three percent of the presidential election. A lot of people were anticipating that they were going to win the parliament landslide. And I think for them, even uh, Sankano might agree that their calculation was to sweep the polls. Wow, but then, and, and 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 while people were anticipating NPP to do that, mm -hmm. others were also thinking that UDP was going on the other way, that yeah. it was um, on the decline. Yeah. But we are seeing one that what was expected of NPP did not materialize, and secondly, that UDP surprised a lot of people that they were still able to maintain, you know, 15 seats, mm -hmm. uh, and you know. Uh, and perhaps one independent that was also well, aligned yes, that. so they are very still relevant mm -hmm. and, and and so now it's between these two parties again in terms of uh, the future of this country and this is a continuation of the last parliament basically and you didn't mention the new entrance the the, the split this, this the rival faction of the APRC. yes yes so so now we also have seen that i mean um you know before we i think here we are talking about where one APRC has been taken by Tombo, mm -hmm. I mean, where they take the institution, and then the other APRC, even though they don't want to say two APRC, mm -hmm. but the, the, the non-alliance movement, yeah. I mean, it seems like it is the people's APRC, I mean, in terms of the um, the outcome in, 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 in Fonyi. But of course, APRC, for me, yesterday I said that they have been reduced to skeleton now. I mean, the whole body now is only the head that is left. Uh, they wouldn't agree to that. Yes, <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, in terms of the numbers, from oh, being 40-something, okay. 40 40 controlling the National and, Assembly, and, and now to losing two. power, uh, having five, mm. now to two. Two. So, so basically, that shows like maybe, maybe like PPP, that um, you know, ruling parties might not survive post. You know. I was going to come there. So now, effectively, this that great party, the People's Progressive Party (PPP), mm -hmm. coming with no seat at all, virtually dying. What do you think the PPP officials should do? People like Omar Jalo, uh, you know, okay, formerly the Bakari yeah. Dabos, yeah, yeah, sisters. They should not be worried that uh, I mean the party that uh, that have done so much. That everybody was proud of his leader, which leader everybody was proud of is dying. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think usually, you know, we've always said that internal party divisions is the fastest way to kill political parties in Gambia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the um, PPP suffered more than any in yeah. terms of the, I mean, the, the divisions that existed. I mean, some of these divisions maybe started even way 
uh, while they were in power. And, and then we saw that continue, I mean, especially after 2017, 2016, we've seen, I mean, the internal struggle yeah. uh, within the party. I mean, I think the party had more leverage than any other political party in terms of their history, in terms of their contribution, uh, but they've been very disconnected yeah. uh, with what is also happening and how they're able to model, I mean, even mobilize the yeah. new generation of Gambians. Because most of us, I mean, we only heard about PPP. We did not know PPP. We did not know their glory days. Ah. And I think also the... Yeah, you are telling every, you are telling viewers that you're a small <laughs> kid. You're a small kid. I mean, I mean, I, I mean it's part of the reality. Uh, so, 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 but at the end of the day, I mean, there are a lot of materials. And even PPP, they documented their history. Yeah. I mean, significantly. And so some of us, that's where we go and then, I mean, learn. And because of our job also, we need yeah, to learn to about decide. those um, those issues. But I think, um, you know, for, for them, those were some of the issues. But of course, the legacy of Jame. A lot of those were banned and all those things. And even for them to survive, to get two seats, mm -hmm. and now losing all of them, I mean, uh, they really need to think about themselves now. I think so. I mean, Sankara, I was going to... Well, let me exhaust this thing. How about the... about doing... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think Doi is also the biggest surprise in this sense because even, you know, having Usman Silla and Honorable Silla and Honorable Syria, I mean, like, it is unthinkable <laughs> in uh, in this country to think that Syria would have, Shidia you would, know, Shidia lost an election. Shit, yeah. But, I mean, this also shows how critical these uh, National Assembly elections are. And uh, also well, they, they've been, they've recently had a press conference they attempting to, yes, yes. they didn't say exactly what might have led to Syria's defeat, but you could see from them that they, they believe that uh, the, the, there is what they call inducement, inducement, I mean, and this, something that like, this well, has been this that has, has been, been that has been existing. I mean, I mean, I, I think for me, when you go back to Doi's history, you realize that one of the I mean, they, they're of course in terms of their politics what? outlook, they 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 have certain issues that makes them different from the rest. Exactly. And I think this issue of inducement. Yeah, but they've never been. Cecilia, you said have never been threatened. Yeah. I mean, do, Willie was had been there yeah, even but, even before Halifa started winning in Serakunda, yes. Willie was in their in their deposit already in their but, deposit. Yeah, and then the the issues that we used to hear was that Willie was. I mean, um, yeah. you know, in, in <laughs> they terms of the politicians say fixed deposit, fixed deposit. <laughs> but then they, so so it also shows that maybe things are changing. Why mm. are people voting now? It mm. might not only be left to the um, to the issue of inducement it might be um, the fact that they and, and and i think this is where also the problem with our national assembly election is it comes after the presidential election which allows for people to to have that but i think for me it was really surprising i mean for for them losing and i think one of the reasons particularly in banjul perhaps has to do with the, perhaps i mean the, the representative was doing all the job in in parliament yeah, but how, I mean, close, how close was he with the people also the that, becomes, that becomes a Yeah, the, the uh, Honorable Usman Silla. Yes. Yeah, people were surprised that he, he, yeah, yeah. he showed a lot of quality as, yes. as, an, as an MP. But, uh, yeah, and that's why, I, uh -huh. yeah, that's why I always say, like, at the end of the day, it is the people that decide. I mean, I, I mean, think also can, he, I think it might have to do with the procedures that were taken. In the last parliamentary elections, there was very little opposition in terms of uh, competition mm -hmm. among Banjul yeah. MPs. They mm -hmm. had this Banjul, Tawal Banjul, yeah, Tawal Banjul which yes. was very influential in, mm -hmm. in uh, looking at the quality and, 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 and didn't invite too much competition. Yeah. Of course, the UDP have been outside that arrangement. Mm -hmm. But then he, came fr he comes from Banjul North. Uh, he's, he's, he's believed to be a very, very big UDP uh, yeah, yeah. support base there. But could, then the, could, the, could that have affected him? Yeah, but then the older thing, maybe, for me, that's why I said, I mean, how was he delivering in terms of his representation with the people? Well, he was to some, to some extent, yes, I mean, he was he very was active, active you know, we saw over, with Crab Island. Initiating projects. Yeah, with Crab Island, and even, you know, having those kind of meetings. Yeah. But sometimes I feel uh, certain things within Banjo might be beyond that. Yeah. I mean, like, maybe people wanted to see you in their ceremonies and all that stuff, but also maybe it's the, the close nature. But of course, let us not discount this um, discount the the role of the um, of of the winner um, uh, mm -hmm. honorable bar because honorable bar also contested against um, Silla and, and honorable Silla defeated him previously with a minor yeah. and this guy has been part of the, the, the local council and he was there ah, and yeah, so he yeah. was always the, within was, the within yeah, the committee yeah, so have, so that could have also yeah. um, played a part but yeah. of course, DOI has been reduced, so it shows that their powers also and their representative within the assembly is yeah. also is also That's going down. Yeah. And, and 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 clearly, all these different parties, I mean, need to start rethinking about strategy, but also trying to understand the the political culture. I mean, it it doesn't matter how big you are or how much you are. 
money you have i mean people will want to i mean elect people that are relatable and people that they can they can they can trust yeah the nrp they they had five going to the elections they now yeah, have four. for them they survive huh they have, <laughs> they, they, but they, but then they lost one yeah they, they lost one and this is where also the problem has to come i think that's the arrangement that they did in terms of their tactical alliance yeah with NPP. Uh, i think they even lost to somebody that initially belonged to npp yeah um, yes that's right yeah, yeah in, in, in it was, Sanja. well it's supposed to be independent yeah but, it's supposed to be but independent. independent you don't know now yeah because the part of the arrangement that npp did with this tactical alliance team members was that you know i mean they will contest in certain areas and then they will contest yeah. in other areas mm. but some of the even in banjul we saw that incident where somebody that was part of npp because mm. npp did not banjul central yeah. did not put up a candidate they have to go and contest as independent mm. so sometimes it is the people that will say we want this one to mm. run under this particular ticket yeah. and usually i mean uh, incumbent parties are preferred yeah. uh, particularly in rural communities because they also bring in the perhaps the possibility of development because yeah. people have been brain in a way that these are the Uh, this is the party that can that can do that and 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 so i saw that interview and i had this guy saying um tomorrow tomorrow if he had the chance he can move to npp MP. but now he cannot move to npp yeah. because if he does that he's going to lose his lose seat. yeah he's going to lose his seat but but so they have those problems of selection i mean that also contributed to 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 this case especially in sabah but nrp generally i think they are i mean they, there's a there's a decline but they're still one of a very important strategic partner to npp I and i think i mean we've seen them both in parliament and also in cabinet, in cabinet. how about gdc they come empty handed completely uh trust in the elections they, they don't have any any seat now in parliament so i i think gdc's biggest problem is npp i mean uh, uh, in the sense that most of their members are moving in droves to npp yeah, yeah. and we saw their chairman we saw even all the seats that they occupied before most yeah. of those seats went back to N- i mean they've been um taken by npp yeah. and um you know even even um jimara uh you know nyamina is um and and even we are the two West. others yeah, like and you know i mean jara jara is yeah, yeah and also in jokar i mean yeah, that's, that's this were right. previous um gdc but they all yes. went to the npp even before the elections uh, some of them switched. yeah so switch and and now so even the two people that moved to npp they were able to manage to maintain their seats but yeah. those people that were with gdc yeah. they lost their seats to the npp so for gdc i mean um you know and, and at some point i argue that the kind of politics that they were playing is not sustainable because it's also um, politics of patronage and the first opposition to start building i mean boreholes i mean constructing certain things it's not sustainable i mm. mean it's more sustainable for government even yeah. though that will constitute as part of the inducement, inducement. and then the but patronage it. system but i mean it's, it's, it's the political culture also that we need to eradicate mm-hmm. so, so 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 what next do you think for gdc if they are ever going to <laughs> come back i mean i'm not sure if gdc will survive from this i mean um, i think but of course it's, it's politics so things can also change but i'm not seeing how they're going to come back um, now they're just going to be part of the rest we, well you know of course uh, it's hard to say but we know ethnic considerations and everything's are all into our politics now yeah yeah you, I, what do you make of this argument um, a lot of and some analysts said well you know kande was able to attract a lot of people uh, who normally would have voted for jamme mm-hmm. but because when kande came out they they were able to identify with him ethnically and that's why gds was very strong in the fuller areas mm-hmm. the fuller dominated areas mm-hmm. but with the coming of npp uh, probably they saw an even more an even more glorified <laughs> fuller already having the power yeah. so they say why do we waste our time with gdc now i mean could, I, could that be a fair argument or is that just i mean i think it could be part of the conversation mm-hmm. but but for me i would just go back to jame that how jame was also dominating in all these different areas yeah. when he had no ethnic connection and of course it was not only the fuller area but we also seen jokado i mean it's a, of course you have fullers and others that are that are there mm-hmm. Um, so so at the local level it might i mean have a factor it might be a contributing factor but if you look at it broadly it it might not be the most significant um, um, in the conversation, in the conversation. yes because i mean i mean of course um, you know most parties shouldn't be built around that but in terms of the support base you see that certain it supporters is, will is, tend to it's unavoidable <laughs> yeah, it's unavoidable because unavoidable. of course people will want to identify with this 
and but the danger is like when you identify a party with particular group yeah. then you are you are you are disconnecting the rest of the population, population and and, and that will make the party i mean just maybe a skeleton, a skeleton. or just a voice about one particular group and that's yeah. what we need to 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 look at look but at i it. say beyond that I mean, I think our politics is beyond ethnicity. Absolutely. Um, I mean, in terms of the way people vote and all those things, um, generally, I, I feel strongly that it is it is that. But then, if you even if you look at the way, um, in terms of the regions, I mean, the the way we are settled, I mean, those are also factors that we need to um, discuss, and and not just to leave it to the issue of ethnicity, which has always been part of the accusatory. Um, processes like Kili, like Kili Lelela, and is is is. I mean, you know, who was that? Our politicians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they I mean, it's the, it's they, they're the ones. I they mean, they, the ones. They, they, because politicians frame issues. They frame Excellent. issues they, around, you yes. know, certain. And, and they, they want to get votes no matter how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the trouble. Yeah. I so mean, we just need to refuse about those. Yeah, res I mean, resist, you know, their, resist those that. And, 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 and at the end of the day, the money is the same. Yeah. It's problems the, the, that we everybody are facing is the same. Is the same. And they, so they, we, we cannot allow those they, things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, when they do that and get their votes, then they start preaching, oh, we are one. When I actually mean, they've divided us already. I, I, I said before the election that yeah. anyone that, I mean, campaign on dividing the people, yeah. you know, when you win, it will be very difficult to, ah, it's, it's to, difficult to, to, to unite them. Because, because, you know, you create mistrust. Already. And how do you expect people to trust you again politics, when you are in power? Politics and politicians always divide. Uh, I mean, it's a divisive thing from the word go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a contest. It's, it's a, a contest. contest. <laughs> okay, Sankaro, let's, let's go over them. I mean, look at the legislature now. Um, from what has happened in the past. I mean, said mentioned the fact that this one, because of its composition, and of course what happened in the last five years, they should learn from it and probably be more non-partisan mm -hmm. and look more progressive. Because you know, of course, the defeat of the constitution was a scandal to both sides of, <laughs> of parliament, mm -hmm. example. But we're going into this one and we want to progress. What do you, how do you see this legislature should be? Well, one thing you have to learn is that you know voters are now conscious mm -hmm. and they are very merciless when punishing. Yeah, so yes. they don't care whether you stay there for long or if you don't deliver. Yeah. You know, you can be a very good national assembly being or active in the national assembly, doing all those things, but you know, if you don't deliver in your consequence, they don't care whether you belong to the incumbent party or opposition or independent. Yeah. And they have to know. So basically they have this Damocles sword hanging over their yeah, neck. Yes. So they are under uh, pressure to deliver. So they don't, uh, if they don't deliver, it's individual. So unlike the presidential election, yes. whereby you know it's about the president, it's not, but this is local. Yeah. So I think that one alone is a subtle pressure on them, you know, for them to perform. Yeah. If they don't perform in five years' time, voters will penalize them. So and that one is, I think, is enough. Uh, do you see them being non-partisan, uh, uh, a little bit more non-partisan than before? Well, our national assembly is structured in a way that they are compelled to work together if the will is there. Yeah, so I mean, all these committees, yeah, you know, the so committees. the militants are busy insulting each other on social media, like I said, but in the national assembly, the they are work. The, the work. majority leader is NPP, yeah. minority leader is UDP. Yeah. They are compelled to work together, together. diplomatically to find a uh, solution, yes. a common denominator. And when so they go they out, it's the Gambia that goes out. No? So that's what I'm saying. So our institution is programmed in a way that we can work together in the, uh, for, a common, for the common good. Mm -hmm. You know, so if we forget the political soundbite as in narratives, mm. so basically because you know we already have missed the momentum last five years, oh, yes. and there's a lot of reform process that needs to be done. Mm. You know, and I don't think you know, and uh, they would like history to judge them badly mm. by bickering and engaging in too much partisanism. Let them just walk and then uh, deliver the country. The Gambians have voted, and then they, let us just walk and then see what happens. You know, in 2026. And I, and I, you know, even Parliament, I say, I always say that Parliament is where the politics should happen. Right. But then the politics is about who gets what, when, and how. It's about sharing the resources or even gaining the resources of the country. Yeah. There can be those kind of politics that will be looking at what what is the issue now, security challenges. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do? Can we invite these people to come on? To, and then they they look at that. You know, moving beyond like what he's saying, moving beyond. I mean, the, the partisanship, and then start you know co having this conversation around bipartisanship or even multipartisanship that that we have in the parliament mm -hmm. so i think for me now the issue is how are we going to address these issues of course every party have their representative they have their different uh, policies manifestos i mean it might be this is the right moment to bring it on the table I have a the right debate I forgot, I forgot. involve the population and I then make the right laws i forgot to raise one point that the involvement of the women <laughs> we, yes i mean we had women activists who said well that really was a problem there's a very, 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 very few, or very limited representation of women in, in, in the legislature. Even though most parties put up women candidates, but only three got eventually elected, I guess. Uh, one UDP, 
another one from uh, the Col Noto Coalition. Yeah. And I think one more is it two? It's two more independent. Independent. independent yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So only three got uh, you know elected. Uh, of course, in the nominations, two were nominated, uh, but then they come from one side. But anyway, what do you make of the representation of women? Yeah, I mean, I think we need to do more as a country. I mean, we need to know that representation is not just about um, you know about the the size or you know the dominant groups. But also to ensure that more voices of, I mean, you know, women voices, young people's voices, and all those things are also part of the um, the process because there is a need for inclusion, and it is inclusion that will allow us to be able to understand all these different issues that are happening. Sometimes you see on the argument, and I think we had this debate here where people will say, well, men can also do the representation, but you know, there's a simple saying that who feels it knows it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but then when you look at the, you know, the, there are structural gaps. There are also what would I call psychological perhaps gaps. Mm -hmm. And this structural gaps has to do with the laws, has mm -hmm. to do with the way that we form our political parties, yeah. what rule has been given mm -hmm. to women. And usually we know is the clapping. Mm -hmm. and I mean, you know, and yeah, clapping, clapping and all that. <laughs> but then, you know, when it comes to also in terms of the structure, when you look at the socioeconomic, you see that, I mean, there's an education qualification that is required. So you see more women, um, you know, are out of school. So they might not be able to meet that. Or when they get to a certain grade, they are removed and then they got into marriage. And, and, and so they start making family, the, the poverty situation. They have kids that are not taken care of. So they need to start taking care of those things. So there are a lot of, I mean, complex um, issues that we need to address because of the the, the, the way that our society kind of is constructed but um, I mean one way to you know move away from those things was the issue of affirmative action exactly. and, and 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 I think those are ways that you know people that are left behind can be can be dragged but but so far I mean um, our parliament does not reflect uh, largely the population of this country in terms of our was that the voice the choice of the voters or the bad policies of the political parties yeah, I think I think I mean I think it's I mean in in well it's in in some places um, like in in Sukuta, I mean it, it, maybe that was the choice or in maybe of course some of this party yeah in Sunny Mentoring, mm -hmm. uh, maybe because of the party has a very strong base there and it yeah. wouldn't matter whether it is a is a woman or a man if yeah. the party put a candidate that the people like the people will automatically vote for that for that candidate yeah. so sometimes I think it also has to do with that so there is no. Uh, place where women are not being voted for. We have mm. seen evidence of women being voted for. Mm. Now it is about the issue of how are women being integrated within the party process in their selection procedures and also how are they financially uh, being supported mm. to also contest. Because if you, I mean, politics is about the money, is about the, the, the connection, is about the tactics, is about all those different stuff. And mm. if they are left behind, I mean, they need to be brought forward. And I think for me, those things are, are, are part of the contributing factors. Last week's some panel, what did Sankan also said? It has to do, of course, I mean, when you say women, women, you look at how how inspirational, mm -hmm. how in terms of inspiration or impact, inf impact has mm -hmm. women who are, have held these high offices. Was their presence or, you know, contribution really very influential or impactful on the lives of women? He said, he said that is what matters. So look at the women leadership from, 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 from 1965 to now. Twice we had vice president. In fact, Jammeh did very well. He started the culture of vice president. Barrow continued until recently. He dropped that. <laughs> he yeah. dropped that policy. I'm sure so some women will not be happy with that. But how much influential or impactful have they, they, you know, been in in influential places impacting yeah. on women? Well, I think I mean I mean it 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 did not um, impact as much as it was supposed to. Yeah. I mean I feel. Um, even Augusto Jawara, I mean, yes. you know, when he was, uh, during the time that there was a struggle, yeah. uh, you know, some of the materials that he has, she wrote and, you know, displayed are still very influential in terms of giving people the power, I mean, to, to participate. Yeah. But I mean, even especially within the... I think did, did she was in Norse and did she go into politics? Yes. Yeah, she got into she politics. Like I mean, so that just to show that women have always consistently been yeah. part of the, the struggle for the liberation, yeah. for the state building. Uh, but of course, in terms of their influence, I don't think they have they have done much, much. Uh, in terms of driving the conversation. I mean, yeah. like like Dr. Esther Tuture. I mean, she was from the civil society committee. Yeah, yeah. She cannot true. tell me she didn't understand what the issues are, yes. and she has been. I mean, people, regarded people as she have not been yes, much of an I mean, like I mean, for for me particularly, I mean, I wasn't. I didn't see much. 
um, particularly Motiv- addressing in, yeah. in promoting women ideals. Uh, I mean, even what? then, there was no requirement for activism. It ah. was more about, I mean, now you have the power. So how oh, okay. do you That's change? Right. How do you it's influence? a matter of changing, yes. Yeah. So activism in force, we don't have the power. We okay. just talk about what we feel. I mean, I mean she was very vocal, um, uh, you know, about anti F, F, in anti-FMGF, FGM. FGM matters. But as vice president, I hardly even had her talk about that. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It seems maybe she. What could have been? What could have been from Sankari? <laughs> from from being from being a vocal activist. Now you've got the power to change. Yet you don't even talk about. It. Well, I mean, like I tell you, um, uh, this week you know has been a very good week uh, for women. So we can shift you know the yes, yes, we are talking about women. We are coming to that. Um, uh, Rohi Mahi, Lord, the Lord Mayor of Bangui, yes, is elected president. We have a lot of topics, yes. and that happened because and there is a support from the Gambia government. Yes, this you know, on and that that's a remarkable uh, uh, turnout because of, often, I mean, you, you know, we had yeah, a, yeah. We, we had issues like political accommodation uh, and how do the politicians cohabitate one from another party or another school of thought. We had a problem with the council and the central government, but this yeah. time we've I seen mean, that Rohi was supported by the Gambia government and promoted and Ga- Gambia lobbied. It's, it's a pretty good example, isn't it? Yeah, it is because, like I said, this is what I'm saying about you know impact based, you know, gender uh, women, uh, uh, how to call gender mainstreaming, you know, the vocabulary of uh, the activists. You know, so if you want permanency in women empowerment, you have to focus on those things. You know, mm-hmm. uh, empower women where they make independent choices and then, uh, and then, uh, and then giving all the where we tell. So when Rohima Liklo came up with this idea that she wants to run for regular presidency, yeah. and in this situation you need the endorsement of the government of the day. Absolutely. And according to Section 79 of the, uh, the Gambian Constitution, the president is the custodian of Gambia's foreign policy. Yeah. So he, he endorsed that idea. He did not look at that. You know, he wasn't vindictive that no, she belongs to an opposition party with a very vocal, you know, militancy exactly. against the government of the well, day. Or in fact, he's the yeah. main of my city you know, <laughs> so and then my city did not give my, me city my party any yes seat. yes you know so that's what i'm saying at the end of the day that's so i, 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 I encourage such ideas that you know we empower women we just don't look at because of numbers we just look at the impact, the impact. Mm-hmm. and then she's a very good role model and then yeah. look at her, her history yeah. she did not get the uh, just walk into the uh, office of no, mayor. it was a very tough you know battle, battle i remember yeah, the campaign yeah. was very nasty yeah, yeah. but uh, she, she she stood her ground and she has and she has also been helping with this you know helping women get national exactly. documents yeah, yeah. because if you don't have any documents you are not Ex- you don't exist you legally. Exist, yeah. So she had the impact there. Mm. And then she's doing something to raise the Gambian flag. And that's why the president say, what you are doing, if it is good for the Gambia, it doesn't matter where the weak where political the party is. Yes, the president of all Gambians. That's and this is a marvelous. classical example. That's and then, marvelous. you know, the, the state resources were used. All the way I beat machinery was put yeah, in place. The, the, foreign the delegation was supported company. by yes. government and... Uh, yeah. So although, you know, her, her, her people celebrated, but when they realized when that the government had... People, nobody's <laughs> praising the government. And even the, 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 the gender rights activists, nobody yes. has written to Congratulate. Congratulate. Oh, we go. did, we did, because we were told that Tangara actually w- was campaigning yeah, for, yeah. for Gambia. Yeah. I mean, that, that is what, that is the Gambia yeah, we know. Yeah. So, and, and then look at uh, also uh, Gina Bass. She performed very Gina, well. Yeah, yes, raising yes, the Gambia flag. Sense, and that's why I said that she deserves a diplomatic passport. So, if Absolutely. the IGP is listening, she's on the police. Let yeah. them do the machine. So, it. it has been a very good, and the government is always there to empower women. You know, I, I was discussing with my student, I asked them, you know, because when this debate about women in cabinet, I asked them, so if I should sit with the president and recommend you for cabinet position, what would you like? He said, no, tell me one scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because if I study, I become a lawyer, engineer, or have a profession, that is permanent. Yes, As minister, permanent. speaker, ambassador, yeah. the, the same temporary. The same president so can come back. empowerment has to be like education and make, uh, empowering them. Economically. Economically. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we have to ask them. We should not be babysitting women. Mm-hmm. We have to ask them, what do you want? Mm-hmm. And then we support them. We open all the, uh, the, the avenues for them to, to prosper. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what, you know, even the activists should focus on. Mm-hmm. Uh, impact based, you know, uh, women empowerment is more sustainable as mm-hmm. we've seen this week politics, with us, you know, than politics. always this tokenism and all this, you know, cosmetic, you know, and how do you call it, you know, having feel good that we have a beautiful lady in the microphone or personal opinion. You know, for, for, for me, I mean, like, I totally agree. I mean, I think sometimes we can fight internally. But when it comes to f- this is where the national, national interest is and but 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 for me i think i'm very proud of the the lord mayor's because mm. i mean just she's each time you know breaking barriers breaking barriers yeah, you yes, know breaking yes. barriers showing the world that i mean it is it's not only about it's gambian men yes. but gambian women can also can do, do it, it. Yeah. and people that are in leadership yeah. you know i mean can can show mm. what their intention is yeah. can show what we can do also mm. because at the end of the day mm. 
I mean, Gambia is not an island. We are small, but we are not small people. Mm. I mean, and if Gambia today is the president of, of you know, of, of, of the whole all of the local African government, network of African, African local government. elected women, yeah, uh, local, it's a, it's, it's really a very influential. It's a, it's position. A, it's a very influential position. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, and I, and for for me, the other aspect is that it's about local government. And yeah, we have seen how the, the the mayors and even the the mayors generally yeah. are talking about the need to ensure that. I mean, I mean, uh, processes are decentralized, yeah, and yeah. and I think for me, those are areas that I, I, I and I've seen that the local governments in the Gambia, the local governments have earned a lot of respect around. You know, Planning to have an years, uninterrupted you know, electricity and, and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia I mean, I and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise oh. will provide you with the solutions ah, at wow, reasonable wow, cost. Wow, wow, wow. We have experienced personnel who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. Yes, we provide like services we and saying, sell I products. Mean, to be the president of a uh, network of, of African women, uh, local government leaders, is, is really a tremendous achievement for little Gambia. Yeah, it is. I mean, and, and even at the local government level, I mean, I think now this is where government need to start paying attention to, I mean, to ensuring that local government um, you know, the, the, the idea of the decentralization and giving them more and power because it shows that there should be more that could be done exactly. um, by, by, by the, and, by and the local councils. And I see that the government, local government system is respected among many, 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 yes. many uh, among their peers in the African continent. I mean, yeah, you know, you know, we have also been innovative, but of course, Munyo uh, Wane, we can say perhaps is the is the limited resources, but I think also it's more about planning. Because sometimes if we, uh, if government, if central government decide to decentralize many of the responsibilities, I mean, then we will see more of our local government. Because even this waste collection that we are talking about, some of these feeder routes, some of these things, these are supposed to be the jobs of this, I mean, I mean, um, local government authorities. And I think those are the issues that need to be, need to be addressed. So for me, I think this election one will uh, give her more platform to one advance all the things that you have, you have been talking about women empowerment i mean and women empowerment is not only about representation but also on the economy but also being like she he mentioned i mean uh, campaigning for women to go and get registered get id card because yeah. these are also very important when it comes to transaction whether you if, even to though bank, even though even though some analysts have said that might be for political reasons i mean well, <laughs> well everything has been done for politics in this country yeah. i mean politics yeah. that benefit the people yeah. is good politics Poli I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah and another thing i want to like you know if yeah. you watch my our last video when we are here the last record i said but you know uh women empowerment you know we place them where we encourage them to be where they are impact that's what in local governance i mentioned it I yeah, yeah, you know that you know local yeah, governance yeah, is very important you know under the case you can be at a, uh, as, a, as, as, as mayor as a councillor oh, but councilor. you work you do have national impact yeah, Look exactly. at the Lord Mayor uh, uh, Rohimalo. Okay, she no. wasn't the minister or a speaker. No, no. Just as a local, local government official, she's catapulted on the international Africa, stage. International. So now that the local government election is coming, like I said the last yeah. time when mm -hmm. Mama gender activist was here, yeah. we should just encourage the political parties, you yes. know, to file more councillors, you know, Council and mayors councilors. and other things, women councillors. Because from that they you know, can. They so can. they can easily because you know yes. in a global village, you know, yeah. the world with this order. If you manage, you know, waste collection, we have environmental challenge like in Sanya now. The election it has to do more with environmental degradation. degradation. But if you have a local councillor who is able to find a solution, solution. which can be a best global best practice, yeah. the person in charge, the local government, you know, will be on the international side representing international the state. Gambia. This exactly. is how we did it. This is exactly. how we manage, you know, this local uh, urbanization challenge or rural development challenge. So women can have a lot of impact there. And that's why the last time when I was talking about it, we forget about all these I, cosmetic I, positions. I, we'll focus I, on I, the and where I also agree because also the problems are very local. Yeah. And when they are local, whether you talk about markets, whether you talk about, you know, I mean, um, waste, collection. waste collection, healthcare, these are all issues that are also affecting women and, yeah. and they should be addressed at that local level. Exactly. And so having, that's why, you know, for local government, I mean, I think we need to, to set the ball, you know, saying that we want to move away, yeah. I mean, from the current low representation, but also oh, get more well. women and for political parties to Maybe the that. political parties will be encouraged now to put up women for the area council election committee. The, yeah, yeah. For example, the chairman or mm -hmm. chair, chairpersons of the uh, area, area council, might be and as, as councillors also, because yeah. also there, as, as we're talking about national assembly, mm -hmm. there at the councillor level also, we have very few women represented. Very few, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and but for me, I think I mean that that area. Yeah, I mean, should the NPP be has got a starting point. Um, yeah. Sub, yeah, with sub, uh, London sub, Corner. Sub yeah, 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 London yeah. Corner. Yeah. yeah, that's very encouraging. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think generally on the global stage, Gambian women have not 
done bad. They, you see, if you look at people like Fatu Jehum, eh, Fatu, yeah, Fatu, Bomben Suda. Fatu Bomben Suda. Mm-hmm. I mean, Beatrice Allen, a yeah. member of the, you know, oh. IOC. Yeah. That 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 was really uh, a, a tremendous achievement. The Oli Dibas, he was head of. Um, um, continental or regional uh, uh, non-government. Uh, yeah, no, 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 she's secretary of the she first sec- lady's forum. I know that because uh, with okay. the support of the Gambia government. Gambia government. And, yeah, and we, we know that she belongs to the political the party. And opposition yeah, UDP. So, I mean, these are very good signals. I mean, yeah. if we see take these things, we put politics aside and support you know each order at the end of it is gambia you know you, you see yeah. all this trouble is here when you go out people don't see you as udp yeah. and, you know, no, no. they just so, say gambia so, and, that, and i'm so glad that, that you know, you know that, that's what the, the, that's the, what the realization the, the, we should have and i realize that that's what the president is doing he said yes. that he's president of all gambians exactly it doesn't matter which political party, party you, you come if from. you want to come uh, looking for an international engagement international appointment follow yeah. the channels and say mr president yeah. you know and i've seen these things support, you know yeah. and then you defend okay if i get occupy this position or if i do this thing it's going to bring this benefit to the gambia the yeah. government will support you and Absolutely. this is continued doesn't matter you can even be insulting the president 24 no, hours no, no, no. but if you have something that that, that, is, that, that, that benefits the country exactly you know because he's elected as president of all it's gambians you know that, and so rohimani Lo- case is a, is, a, is a benchmark, benchmark that you know that. everybody should should should, should, should encourage exactly. and emulate yeah, yeah. 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 And, and that's how he he did very well that's a rem- that's that is the kind of gambia we should always have you know I mean, that's I, it, because if it, it's all this petty. If you go out, the people don't know where you. They just say Gambia. <laughs> but if you, you know, all our, these petty talks are here. I always say like our petty fights and all those things. We can just leave it at the who. But then, yeah. I mean, we have a responsibility. Just this morning, I was having conversation, saying that particularly our generation, we have to clean something. We have to build foundation, but we have to also you know build uh, build progress exactly. and, and 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 i totally agree and this is where you know in terms of the cabinet even yeah. you know when i look at the cabinet i'm, I'm seeing like a, a new page being torn exactly. where you bring in I'm, you I'm know people that are known for no political affiliation to see yeah. how best they can man and then push at some point we need to start um, focusing on what build this country and i mean munda nyo hulos besona but it wouldn't move well, anybody well, like from, from legislature and women thing i was coming straight to the to cabinet the, yeah. and you have you have now arrived there yeah. how did you see the composition of the new cabinet i mean many people believe that the president was going to just take the jobs dish it out to his political yeah, ally. Yeah, he himself he hinted well. yeah. that but then we have seen that he had a, perhaps a change of mind he seemed to bring more of technocrats which a lot of people press because they think that really is going to be uh, make the cabinet more look like a uh, serious seriously one. concerned with issues and not political issues. It you is. know, you know. Yesterday, you know, we were joking that uh, that this time is the first time that I mean, the the, the whole list of from government was not leaked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in fact, that 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 I think Sankano can tell yeah. us how did so, they manage? How did they manage? How did so, they I manage? Mean, it 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 seems one. How I mean, did they manage? They really did well in that. Yes. I mean, I saw. I did no. everything. <laughs> Yeah, I people, did everything. People were calling me, help me. You know, I throw. I it. did all kind of speculation. I couldn't get it out of anybody. <laughs> so, so, so I, I think for me, I mean, that was a good, that was a good start. I mean, that was a good start in the sense that at some point, you know, government need to have its own secret, and exactly. it must be able to protect the secret. And and I think for me, um, you know, that was that was good in a way. But then when you look at the the composition, I also think that. I mean, Barrow is the President Barrow is listening to his mandate. Like he has 53 percent of the population, and he understands that the people are not just voting for the sake of voting. Uh, they voted on the basis of continuity for him to complete some of his projects that he has started. Mm. And I think, I mean, that kind of influences his um, his policies. Now, if you look at, for instance, in terms of security sector reform, and if you look at even at higher education, I mean, I'm looking at these two areas because these are areas that I'm, you know, pretty comfortable with. Uh, for higher education, I mean, we could not complain about Professor Gomez. Mm-hmm. I mean, whether we agree with him or not, or not. And, but because we know... Well, that you know, of course. He's, 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 he's I mean, he's grounded. He's been part he's, of it. Yes, yes, he's grounded. We uh, cannot have any were, qualms about that yes, appointment. From yes. being teacher to, you know, head of a department, mm-hmm. you then moving to dean, Every. then to the vice chancellor and right. acting vice chancellor. I mean, that person understands no, the, the problems Everything, of higher education. Yeah. Yeah, and he understands, as you said, the problem yes, from inside. From you know, inside. <laughs> Yeah. From inside, so for me, I think that is a good pick. I mean, that's a very good pick in the in the sense that I mean, the, you know, basically he has silenced us to an extent. Now we are going to look at uh, what he's going to deliver, yeah. and 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 for us, we also know that I mean, he's somebody that can be approached, mm-hmm. and and we can know how we're going to address our issues. I will not as academics, we will not agree on 
many points, but yeah. at least we know that we have somebody that at will hear and there was somebody that will defend many his own position. Many people say people at education uh, are very lucky because even Butler, the vice president, yes. has some education. Some bias, education. So. But you know, you know, initially, because I used to, at, at some point, I think I've hinted it here, I thought like President Butler was anti-intellectual and all that. Yeah, but but now, you know, now at least there is a, there is that, but this are, it's not like we are saying this because, oh, oh, because it's, I mean, it's an action that has been taken. Yeah. It's an action that becomes reality and we are seeing that. So mm -hmm. we now it's about how we're going to move forward. You look at the security, for instance, mm -hmm. they brought in, I mean, you know, former state guard commander, yeah. former Sering, diplomat, Sering, yeah, Sering Sering Muru, Muru, eh? I mean, who was also a very, you know, professional. He's been out I mean, all over. Yeah, he knows all over. He understands it in and out. Yesterday I was just reading on the gap and then he, he, he had a courtesy call. Yeah. And, and, and so those are the kind of people that, I I mean, you, even if there were a lot of complaints, now people will say, perhaps this is, there's a new page, it's there's a new, a new opportunity mm -hmm. that, you know, the issues that we, 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 we need to address could be could be addressed. Mm -hmm. But of course, the issue of, I mean, um, women representation, yeah. I mean, or women in cabinet, yeah, in is, cabinet also, also is, another is, is also another point that has to. And even the new, uh, new ministry, we also know Juf. I mean, he basically built the Gambia Teachers Credit Union. I mean, yeah. for most of us teachers, that's where we go and get loans but to we do whatever do. we yeah. have to do. He did a I very mean, he's good a, job. Yeah, he did a very good job. So this is some people that have been tested. You talk about that. There, there have been a lot of uh, issues about it. I don't know whether you can put, give us any sense about it. The position of uh, Minister for um, Policy, Civil yeah. Service, uh, Secretary General, as well as Chief of Staff. I mean, I mean, maybe he's the one that can help. Yes, yes. <laughs> come, 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 come on, teacher. Because there are many, yeah, yeah. many people say there might be duplication. <laughs> yeah, there there uh, are three things. I just First okay. of all, uh, what I see is we have seen a reversal of fortune. Mm -hmm. In 2016 17, teachers were always not happy demonstrating. Yes, and it's yes, like, yes. But today we have teachers in government. Yes. I keep saying that we have a teacher. <laughs> the teachers Strat are now in power. <laughs> now, now, so, this now, is like they're dribbling. So the teachers have their now, people so now. Yeah, now. You have your people there. And soon you will have the nurses and doctors campaign. How to call it? Campaigner, we need somebody that, yeah. yes. but they also have their own. Well, they you have know, yes, the professionals, they, they also have their they own. Have so their it own. seems like they are targeting all these professionals yeah. and putting professionals yeah. in yeah. those. Only yeah. <laughs> recently, journalists also have their own, yes. but yes. now it's been moved to walks. So yeah. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what to do? What is he doing there? He's to construct the route. <laughs> well, anyway, so you can't communicate, you know, so like you know, better. <laughs> anyway, right. another thing about the cabinet list here, as you say, government, you know, like from the beginning, I keep saying we are not losing the narrative mm -hmm. when the noise is too much on social media, they say the government is not coming out the will is there to allow people to let their steam out yes. but when the need when, when it's time for root to, root to do the needful mm -hmm. that is you no know, uh, apply a reasonable restriction in national interest it will be done mm -hmm. so with the cabinet list i also my phone was inundated with call people you know i trust you just give me the leak <laughs> no, so, 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 no. i said wait until 6 p.m 6 p.m you watch the national broadcast you'll get I it get so it. we can we definitely yeah. we, we, are, we are doing I our don't homework know how president Barrow himself <laughs> may, 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 i mean people he I didn't mean, make a mistake this he didn't time make a mistake this time. Those, <laughs> No, 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 not no. even but a he, he was and and the funny thing you know that day uh, before i had the news i was at professor gomez's office mm. and, and i did not i mean he didn't even hint you uh, i did not even but could have he have known idea. he could have known he could have, he, he knew he knew, I mean, by then he knew. <laughs> but nothing nothing <laughs> you know and then six o'clock i had professor gomez. i said no it's not this not the one i was with no, no it's not this <laughs> professor gomez. No, but and i mean it, it basically yeah i think by the when people are saying that we give them that so my job is also to sit on information of course so as a professor, until, so until the right time, even ourselves, we operate on things that are embargoed. Yes, yeah, so yeah. We don't discuss them until the time yes. it comes. Yeah. But yes, this civil service minister, secretary general, uh, chief of staff. I mean, it's new. The culture is new. I I saw some commentaries. Mm -hmm. I carried some from people who uh, they, they said there might be duplication of how can how do you think these things these three positions no. can move without um, I mean duplicating each other's role. Now, what I'm saying is that government has its dynamic, has to respond to the needs or the reality of the day. Mm -hmm. We had institutions that were there during the First Republic. They served their purposes, exactly. but become you know, redundant in the Second Republic. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the, in the new Gambia. Population is, I think, next census next year, we might reach t 3, million. 3 million. And the civil service reform has always been staggering. And we have a, a plan there. So which is that, you know, uh, separating these roles is about, you know, freeing additional capacity to do it. Like, the, why is it that I'm still advocating for splitting the Ministry of Trade to release capacity? Because if you look at the labor market, mm -hmm. both formal and informal is huge. Mm -hmm. And we only have a small department of labor near Fajara War Cemetery, yeah. which is not well resourced. And it doesn't have the capacity to address some of the yeah, challenges. And, you know, labor, so the a separate labor was very active yeah. in the 70s yeah. and 80s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so having a separate yeah. Ministry of uh, Industry and Labor 
will uh, will help address the respond to the issues. needs of workers you know they don't have to work in dignity in you know, yeah, all the yeah, noise yeah. that you know the trade union is making I'm agitation making, yeah. and then industrialization we we have to transform the reality of uh, ukraine and global covid now we have to do a transformative agriculture mm -hmm. we have to add industry mm -hmm. so the process of setting up a factory should be easy and, and straightforward yeah. so therefore having a ministry addressing these two issues is labor. going to make the responsible for labor and, and also industrialization Makes then sense. trade and then uh, and the africa free trade integration, and the integration can be one can be because one. the issue of transit trade and then how yeah. this uh, continental trade there can also a separate ministry yeah so it's about you know it will add value it's not about you know it's going to put pressure on uh, on, on on public, or, or, public or, finances or public finance. but you know it's, it's going to create another it's going to make it easier, easier. So the same thing with digital economy and communication. So all this, you know, civil service also, I mean, it's about restructuring. We focus more on civil service reform, mm -hmm. you know, so that it can deliver on time, you know, there can be more impact. And then that's why, you know, so uh, uh, chief of staff, mm -hmm. you know, uh, administrative head of the office of the president, president. you know, is responding to the 21st century needs of the Gambia. Okay. So if you are inside, you will know, okay, what needs to be done. done. But an outsider might see it differently, but an inside might say, okay, so there's a need to do this and that thing to, 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 to respond to the aspirations of the Gambia. Yeah, many people talk because that those, those functions are either performed by the Secretary General or Secretary of Cabinet. Now, when you have this Chief of Staff, how do you... No, the thing is that, you know, we, we inherited the British system. Yes. And at times, we are going forward, we copy the American system. system. It's back and forth. <laughs> like I said, so government is dynamic. We have to adjust, you know, to find our way. You know, how do we adapt it? Just because, you know, it looks nice and other things, you know, we inherited it, it has to be there. Has what worked for the British, you know, yeah, might not work for us in the yeah. 21st century. Of course, for example, what we know as ministers in, in the United Kingdom is different from the ministers. Yeah, so, so that's what I'm saying. So it's about, you know, adapting the best practices to our reality. So there was need assessments done, like even the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy. Before that time, you know, I mean, we did our uh, uh, technical reviews and the process was going on. Yeah. There was need to decouple. So basically, government is basically responsible so that, you know, this, uh, the, the reform process can, uh, can be fast-tracked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Go, um, yeah. uh, finally, we we, we, we we have two more topics to so We are going the next uh, fifteen minutes or so. I am. Um, I mean, the central bank. We recently we had a press release, and we wanted to make sense of that. Central yeah. was virtually saying that uh, even people who might have dollar accounts or stuff like that, if they come to withdraw this, they should not be paid in dollars, but in in dollars. Does that is that is that statement not itself speculative? Does it doesn't it show that we be probably on the brink of having foreign currency crisis? Yeah. For, for, what for do you understand from it? For me, I'm not I'm not I'm not too clear about it, and I'm also not an I'm not an economist, but I've been following the conversation, and I think in many places, especially those that are in business, or they don't seem know, to be happy. With it. I mean, they're happy. Like a lot of people are kind of happy in terms of that decision. I'm going because to it, it the, I think some of the conversation is that I mean I mean this is a, this should have been done long since mm -hmm. because sometimes you know the the issue is maybe the Dallasy might be secondary or something. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm following the conversation still, and um, I'm. I'm I'm not really sure, so I want to hear maybe I uh, want from to, the experts to. I want to read the statement mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that uh, perhaps you understand. Um, it said prohibition of FX, I mean that's forex, forex yeah. cash withdrawal from foreign currency deposits uh, account and shipment of uh, forex bank notes on behalf of uh, customers. Further to the prudent objectives of operationalizing the foreign currency. Uh, deposit accounts. Uh, it has come to the attention of the CBG uh, that account holders have largely resorted to speculative behavior of withdrawing foreign currency for purposes of trading in the unofficial market. Mm. Now, um, in an endeavor to ensure that all market transactions are duly conducted in the country's legal tender, banks are hereby advised with immediate effect to desist from paying out foreign currency withdrawals in foreign currency, but must pay out the dollars. Must pay out the dollars. Any bank found to have uh, permitted the withdrawal of cash, you know, uh, uh, in foreign currency, will be duly penalised or pres as prescribed by the central bank law. Furthermore, all banks are hereby directed that foreign exchange bank note shipment shall be for the purpose of funding banks uh, well nostro accounts I don't know what that means customers who bring foreign currency should sell to the bank rather than shipment being conducted on their behalf 
to find their private accounts. This is in line with enhancing our uh, anti-money laundering framework. Well, I it seems like there's two things there. Yes. <laughs> so it seems like there's two things there. I mean, uh, for me, this, these are technical issues. I, 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 I want to understand I, that uh, I, I, I they really said there is a, a tendency that people are, uh, I mean, speculating the social i mean the foreign exchange, like like people speculating like in giving the impression that there's a lack of foreign, foreign currency, currency yes and then that would make the price of course go high right. if yes, you want yes, to buy yes. foreign exchange mm -hmm. and you know in, in this affects people in the street so yeah. they want to make sure that um you know every transaction that you are doing in dallas is and not in, in the, foreign yeah, foreign. but then yeah, because, of course, I, because i i also saw i mean like in the border community sometimes you know you they mix those kind of stuff yeah. but i also saw on social media that somebody was i mean i mean talking i, I think one of the issues also buying goods yeah i mean like um you know using hard currencies to 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 buy those um, goods that have been imported oh. um but i think you need to get an expert to, to you know yeah but what i can because for me i'm still in interested I in have, this. I've, well, since it came out, I've yeah. seen pers perspectives such as, what about if I have a dollar account, mm -hmm. I open a dollar account, which is allowed here. Yes. Now I want to be paid in dollar, and then now with this thing, they have been told, they, they, the banks have been told that I should be paid in foreign currency. Yeah. Uh, Will not be an issue? Well, I'm affected because I have a foreign account. Uh, okay, so uh, what does this mean to you now? It means that I will not accept my euros. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> right, that's <laughs> exactly, come to the point now. <laughs> So as, but because I'm not into business, so it was just a reserve, you know, like, you know, in this country at times, you know, even if you are, no matter how high you are, at times you have cash flow, cash flow, you know, uh, distress, so you have to dip into your foreign car. For me, it's just a reserve. So if it doesn't last long and I still have some cash, I can survive it. But so if it what lasts, about people who really have a large quantities of foreign exchange, they deposited there in dollars. Today you are telling them that they cannot withdraw it. Well, they cannot withdraw it. They cannot well, do it in dollars. Maybe they will advise them how to do it because at the end of the day, I mean, the expert will do. But we have to look at, our, uh, like I said, reasonable restriction is allowed. When we say free market, it doesn't mean that it is free for everything. Government, we have the financial intelligence unit at the, at the, at the central bank and the Minister of Finance. Uh, they advise the government on the right step to get it. So it's a measure. It's rather to be preventive rather than to always be reactive. So, like I said, government is aware of its responsibility. When some when some, some symptoms are coming up, you nip it in the bud, rather than waiting until when things get out of hand. We say, oh, we can't. How do we manage? But what will happen? Because now? already we have these external shocks that are in place. You know, so supply. Now, so, what what will happen now if, for example, uh, you know it, you know you, you have this dollar malabs in, in the yeah. streets yeah. all over. Yeah. With this announcement, would it not encourage them to hoard the dollars because they? I mean, they, they know they can make money by keeping it and then releasing it or trying to gain later. Yeah, but you have to understand that, you they know... They will not take it to the bank. I mean, they, they counter, it can be counterproductive. They will not take it to the bank now no, because we, they cannot get it in dollars when they want to withdraw it. The volume they are having, how significant they have to look at. You have to understand our culture. Money also has cultural value. Mm. Our people are at, at, attached to, to cash. It's just like Germany. Yeah. We told the advancement, but people have the emotional attachment to cash because they're so fat to build the, uh, the DMA, DMAC for after the war, ruins of the war. So it is very, that's why even cash-based transaction is coming, but, no, but people still want to hold, hold on to cash So as a, as a store of value. So whether they reinvest or they, they don't invest, this is another matter that you know, the economists can, has, you know, so can, can have. So all those malams, what are they doing there? It's just a small, you know, And who uh, gives them license to be, to be doing you know, so business? It's you know, the, the same central bank. It's not disappearing. Yeah. The money is still in the country. Somebody yeah. is just holding it. There, maybe you know, it's not yet. The in, bank is saying that from the, 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 the bank says so it looks like they are engaged in seemingly speculative behavior. As long as they don't export it outside, you know, if it circulates within the Gambia, that is good. But if I told they are shipping, uh, like I said, the issue of shipping it outside, shipping it out, yes. you know, so, so let them just make sure that you know we have the money in the country. It it's, it circulates within our economy yeah. and, and boosts local production. If that is done, I think that that makes more sense. Yeah. You know, but, but they, if they, they are shipping are, it outside. They said um, the commercial commercial bank should not pay out people even if you have a dollar account like you did mm -hmm. you cannot get you the dollar you put next to the dollar i wanted to buy a machine so are we, are we, i going to take it there now they're going <laughs> to keep them with them and in that case they keep it to oh. make money in future yeah <laughs> planning to have well, an we, uninterrupted we will, electricity get, uh, and water supply from solar energy in the gambia and beyond worry no more because solar enterprise will provide you with this
In just a couple of weeks, the Gambia will re-enter the African Nations Cup uh, that will be held in, in Africa 2023. The qualifier starts on June the 4th, and the Gambia will be playing South Sudan in Senegal. Cheers, like your stadium to be exact. We will bring you all the preparations and details you need to know about that match, plus the Scorpions, all the engagements uh, before and after that. That's after the break. So for now, thank Planning you. to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittances, takaful fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832-151 or visit Yona Head Office at Tipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. on Katfatu Live. Now, we talking football. The African Nations Cup qualifiers for 2023 in the Ivory Coast will start on June the 4th for the Gambia. We will be playing in Senegal on chess and we will play South Sudan. And a couple of days after, we will be going to Congo, Brazzaville to play Congo in the second day of those that six match series that's coming in June. Now, everybody is wondering now what our preparations like for Gambian fans, particularly uh, for the match in chess, because that is a home match. How do you organize a home match away from home? <laughs> These answers is what I will seek from members of the Event Management Committee of the Gambia Football Federation. And they're represented in the studio here, William Abraham. He is the chairman, and Musa Sise is a member. Musa, of course, is the president also of the Gambia Sports Journalist Association, and William Abraham is, of course, the president of Real de Banjo. So, gentlemen, Mr. Chairman and, and, and Musa, welcome to the branch. Thank you very much. Thank now, you, sir. you were in the car not long ago to walk out on the modalities of uh, hosting this home match in Senegal, Lug uh, rather, Lugdor Stadium Chess, to be exact. Um, can you, let's go back a little bit. 
We know, of course, we are going to play in Senegal because our independent stadium cannot host this top-level uh, match, according to CAF, which uh, demanded certain standards that we, we, we are far sort of. Uh, how did it, the, the very um, possibility or the ar arrangement for us to play in chess come about, really? I think, uh, first of all, I would say thank you very much, Lavin. Um, we've taken this game to Senegal because of the fans. Mm -hmm. The fans were crying, and we fully understand that they want to watch their team. Because we, we saw uh, the game that we played against Chad in Morocco brought a lot of noise on social media platforms about why is Gambia playing away very far from home and they don't have the, the, the opportunity to watch the game. So that's why I think the Federation looked at uh, somewhere very close to home and I think you cannot beat um, chess. So that's why this game was taken to Senegal. Chess was not the first option. The first option was start um, Abdullah Wad, the new stadium. But because Senegal are playing on the same day as Gambia, mm -hmm. we had no other option except start Lajor in chess. Okay. Because these are the only two stadiums in Senegal mm -hmm. that have been approved by CAF mm -hmm. to use. And that's the reason why we are in chess. Good. Now, you've been to chess, I'm so, to, to look at the preparations and everything for both the fans, the, I mean, maybe perhaps the national team. How do you think the Gambian match can really properly organize within that, within that setting? setting? The it first is, setback is that the stadium is very small. I was coming to that. The stadium capacity is about 8,000 people. Only 8,000? It's about 8,000 some mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And the some people is the VIP area. I it's see. very small. Okay. And it's very unfortunate that as of now, mm -hmm. we still cannot even announce the price of VIP tickets because the VIP area is very small mm -hmm. and um, if you look at the number of people leaving the uh, the Gambia mm -hmm. to attend this game mm -hmm. including uh, the Senegalese Federation mm -hmm. who are our hosts, host. yes. they have been helping us to make sure this game goes through properly. Mm -hmm. Also the Ministry of Sports of Senegal, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Security, mm -hmm. Interior for example mm -hmm. and also the Gambian Embassy in Senegal. Mm -hmm. So all these people will attend the game. And the, the VIP area is very, very small. Covered, it's less than 1,500 people. Mm. Covered pavilion. Mm -hmm. Uncovered also the same thing. Mm. So this is the first challenge that we have. Apart from that, mm -hmm. I think everything else in the stadium mm -hmm. is beautiful. The grass mm -hmm. is top. Dressing rooms, um, VIP rooms, the... Um, uh, surveillance system that they have in the in the stadium, mm -hmm. the parking. We've we've inspected the stadium totally to make sure that we also uh, report back to our federation, mm -hmm. and the federation will report to CAF to get the approval from CAF mm -hmm. because this stadium was also not approved by CAF to be used in this qualifier. There were some um, X's mm -hmm. been marked by CAF mm -hmm. to have them fixed before this game I see. and that has already been done so CAF has only approved one game which is this game because there is still improvements to be made in the stadium, the stadium. and I think after the game CAF is going to make sure that those improvements have been done mm. and then in the future if even Senegal want to use the stadium they can, they can use the stadium you're talking about people going there, then that's what I'm going to ask. Yes. How is the arrangement? If I want to go as a fan from Brufoot, I want to go to Chess, um, and I need a ticket. Um, I'm not sh I'm, and, and I don't know, can I rely on the EMC on advice as to how I to get myself transported or even lodged, or if I, that is if I cannot return on the same night? What are you preparing? Lamin, we have been advising people from day one mm -hmm. about whatever we have been doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, our body, the EMC, mm -hmm. is totally separate from the Federation. Mm -hmm. We have been tasked to do a job, and we have A, B, C, D, and E to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Now that we are not playing home, mm -hmm. we are playing in Senegal. So it's our responsibility mm -hmm. to make sure that we also find a way 
of getting the funds to Senegal. Mm -hmm. We have engaged GTSC. Yes. We have engaged other private companies in Gambia mm -hmm. to try and see whether they can have buses on board so that we can sell a package to the fund, including his ticket. You buy a ticket that puts you in a bus, takes you to Senegal, mm -hmm. you watch the game, puts you back in the bus and you come back home. But that is not yet possible. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we also engaged the transport union to see because we have, we have been advised that uh, during the Magali Tuba, mm -hmm. the transport union plays a great part mm -hmm. in taking people mm -hmm. to Tuba for this pilgrimage and bring them back. So we've engaged them yesterday. We also spoke with them this morning and we're having a meeting with them Monday morning also as plan B. Plan C, plan C we have also talked with somebody who is supplying buses to Dakar Demdik and a company called Aftu in Senegal. Yes, These are their public transport corporations. Yeah. And he's also assured us by Monday he will be able to get us a price. Mm. We want the price to be as cheaply as possible. Because Lamin, this is not the fault of the fans. It's not the fault of Mr. Abraham or Mr. Sise mm -hmm. being at the Federation or at the EMC. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the government. Mm -hmm. So government should impose mm -hmm. on the GTSU, GTSU mm -hmm. prices that would be suitable to transport the funds. Because it's part of government's responsibility to make sure that we have sporting arenas for different uh, uh, sports. Yeah. And that is it. If you want to charge the person $4,000 uh, $5, to buy a ticket and go into the stadium, with the transportation. The stadium will be empty. empty. Actually, it's going to be too much. Yes. Yeah. You've also spoken about accommodation. Mm -hmm. We've looked at different hotels in chess. Mm -hmm. Many hotels, we went around looking at them, looking at pricing, discounts, and we have also achieved that. There are a lot of hotels, about four or five hotels that we have identified in chess that are more than happy to give us a discount and accommodate fans that want to come on Friday. Mm -hmm or maybe Saturday morning, check in, watch the game, sleep there, come back on Sunday, mm. which is a good thing. Yeah, okay. So that is also a possibility. Okay. Oh, fantastic. So a lot of preparations then have been, uh, have been done. Musa, um, the very fact that Willie dealt with that this thing is going to be organized in Senegal, he raised huge questions of logistics, um, etc., etc. You are also involved in the Federation. You are a member of the... Uh, media committee, I, 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 I guess, if it is still functioning. How is um, actually the atmosphere you're looking out to be in Senegal as opposed to the independent stadium? I mean, thank you, Cham. I, I think, I mean, this is something that we all I mean, have to think about and just imagine um, what our youngsters who were playing in that ground. I mean, I don't know, in the calf tournaments, in jun jun I mean, the junior categories, I mean, felt and uh, and um, where they're treated. But this is the highest level of our football, I um, mean, and this is the highest, uh, I mean, team that we could put together to represent us and a qualifier for the AFCON, something that we want to continue participating in. The atmosphere, we are of the view, I mean, that firstly, especially today, that I mean our Senegalese counterparts are very much in tune with what's happening in here because all the publicities that we are doing are I mean with them and uh, before coming into I mean studio today I have most of from most of the networks our own colleagues in in there because we send them the flyers publicizing the games yeah. all of them inquiring Musa when are you coming down to publicize they all want us on, on their platforms to talk about the game mm -hmm. we've been invited can you imagine even before going to Dakar and that's just to sell this game on Saturday 4th okay. so we believe that the, 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 the response is going to be good mm -hmm. but we also have to remember that Senegal are playing on that very day but mm -hmm. albeit behind closed doors mm -hmm. we hope that I mean the chess population of fans and more more importantly, we're talking about the Gambian communities in Senegal or in Dakar. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, are also going to come out. Mm -hmm. We don't know of their presence, but we hopefully, with the I mean, the, the 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 link that we want with the embassy, perhaps they will be advised, and of course, see how best they can also be helped to come and support their national team. These are things that we're working on, and it even came to me from our guys in RTS who asked me. 
how, how, how large is the Gambian community in Senegal? Because they need to be at this game. Mm. So unfortunately, I don't know. But hopefully, when you contact the, the embassy, they will be able to tell you or, or the locals. But it's, it's very important. We are hoping um, that due to the size of the, capa the, the capacity of the stadium, feeling it is not going to be a problem. Uh, we're just worried about the number of Gambian fans who are going to leave Gambia to I go and witness the game. I'm going to do that because even though Willie said it's just 8,000, that might, that might sound so small. But given the logistics he's outlining, um, you know, for Gambians to go, you have to look at the cost and you have the convenience. Supposing Gambians are, I mean, not, a lot of Gambians are not able to go. Do you have any sort of publicity advertisements also in, in Senegal? Uh, in, in in their media yeah. about this match, so that governments there can take. That is exactly Have you started what, that? That is what exactly I'm, t I'm, t I'm, t I'm telling you. I mean, as I was coming today, the publicity in French is <laughs> also in French. French and Wolof. I um, mean, it's French because you don't write all Wolof okay, text. Okay, okay. Um, I mean, we send a flyer that's in in French hmm. and that is going around in all the platforms that our colleagues I A N P S are, are on because they are in the press and the media. So most of them, it's in, gone onto their main page. And hopefully everyone is picking on it. Just as I was, I mean, sitting out there, I mean, calls coming in. I mean, Presi, as they keep calling, Presi, Presi, Kisna, Safisbi. I mean, Nanko Jalale, Nangina, Say, Nunglen, the Harkan, and the new, for new, um, new plateau in your Manawatane, I mean, affair in it, which is fine. So we're hoping that this is going to keep the momentum, but we are also of the view that we need to have adverts running on Senegalese TV, uh, um, and even if possible in the news. I know the newspapers will come in, but that also has to do with finance. I mean, because you don't go into Senegalese TV and run an advert for free. Mm -hmm. And of course, it costs money. These are things we're considering. And uh, we know that the information back home here has already sunk in. People know. And But more importantly, as Willie made mention earlier on, is how do we get the public to chess, watch the game, and come back. There are logistical arrangements that are still that still needs to be finalized. Mm -hmm. And the public, if they bear with us, probably the best outcome out of a difficult situation will be will be made clear as soon as. Okay, Mr. Abraham, let's continue. Talk. I mean, this might be the first. Well, <laughs> I mean, the match against Sudan. We are not praying that. Uh, the scope, uh, this, the stadium might not be fixed before. Well, of course, September. It's uh, September. is at the corner. That's day two of the round. Mm -hmm. So it looks like um, we may go back to Senegal. Whether chess or uh, I mean Ablaywat Stadium for for the match um, uh, for the second day match in the qualifying series. Are you preparing or expecting that also to happen? Well, I mean, I cannot say much on that because I think it's the responsibility of the government yeah. to try and fix the stadium. Yeah. I mean, we don't want to go to Senegal. Uh, in the first place. Yeah. We want to play here. Right now, we are under huge pressure. So I like you know, from the fans, um, we getting, I get messages. I see on Facebook what people are writing. And we are just sacrificing. Our committee is doing a lot of work that we even never expected that we would be even task to do this. Mm -hmm. It's not our job to take fans to Senegal, mm -hmm. but we are doing it because we are Gambians, yeah, yeah. we love football, and we want our fans to be available when the Gambia plays. Right. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. So we hope that the government will close the independent stadium, ASAP, mm -hmm. and start work, because there is a lot of work to be done. There. To be done. If you look at uh, when you go to chess, mm -hmm. This Stade La Jor, the way it's been done. I've been in that stadium many times. Many times. I was there during the under 20 yeah. and other tournaments and other games. And I, I, I've seen the, the way the dressing rooms are and the doping room, the medical room, the referees room, you know, my commissioner's room, the CCTV surveillance room. Right. Scoreboard. It's, and it's scoreboard. Everything has been done. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and even the capacity for our stadium here. Once we go with individual seating, we cannot put 20,000 in the stadium. It's going to shrink. Mm. It might go down to 12,000 or 13,000. Yeah. That's already a problem. a problem. So the best thing that they could do... The, maybe the, 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 the solution is to build... We need to build a bigger building stadium. A new stadium. But big, building a bigger stadium mm. cannot be done in two, three in months. Two, three months now. So even this one, if it's going to be redone, I am I am uh, suggesting that even the, the, the scoreboard area mm -hmm. and opposite the scoreboard, yeah. because the pavilions are very low, mm -hmm. they can find a way of increasing, increasing them. them. 
making them higher so that it takes more people more. so that at least we would go back to the 20,000 number because already the stadium is tight Absolutely. you've seen our game against Algeria what Algeria, happened? Yeah, that's what against Cameroon yeah what happened we yeah. had to close the stadium yeah. 20 something thousand people rushed into the stadium it's even not safe so it's not safe mm -hmm. so once we go sitting individual sitting is going to go down mm. which is going to be more challenging for us to, to bring the fans into the stadium. How much is the stand, the membership of the EMC? And how many, how <laughs> soon do you want to deploy people there ahead? You've been there already, but yes. uh, it's, it's definitely logical and unexpected that you, your people will be on the ground well before uh, June 4. There is an advance party uh -huh. living here on the 30th. 30th. And that includes myself as the chairman of the EMC. Okay. Musa Sise is going as member of the AFC slash media, media president okay. because he knows all the media in Senegal. In Senegal yeah. um, the Secretary General is going. Okay. We are taking um, Mr. Jase. Yeah. He's going. Uh, we have um, somebody from finance is going. Oh, okay. We have head of security, the CAF officer. Uh, Colonel Musa Jame is going. Um, we have somebody from the protocol department in the Federation is going. Okay. Every department we are taking one person. I think we are about nine or ten in number. And at least you have a week before. Yes, yes. because uh, Lamin, it's our home game away. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. So it needs a lot of work. Organizing a home game yes. away from you, you home. Walk one yes. month before the game. Yeah. Start working one month before exactly. the game. Exactly. You know. So it's, it's a big challenge. We are lucky that it's a small stadium. Okay. So it will not be that hectic mm. like if it was 20,000, 30,000 people. Yeah. You understand? I know. So, but still, there is a lot of work. Absolutely. Senegalese believe in paperwork. Senegalese believe in protocol Protocols. and we have to do whatever they want yeah. you understand yeah. that's why we are preparing well mm -hmm. to make sure that when the fans arrive we have a good game yeah because the worry is that CAP has a lot of protocols that you need to abide yes, by when you are hosting now if you are not in your country that's my worry it's yes. it's how it's can you meet all these protocols for one. we will meet them inshallah mm -hmm. we will meet them we have a good team of workers that will go as advanced party and we have a good team that will come on the third mm. to, to cheers also to give us a good backup plus the senegalese federation are also assisting assisting us in a lot of areas mm -hmm. they've done a tremendous job they've really welcomed us well together with the ministry of sports we really felt home when we went to meet them mm -hmm. and i would say a, a big thank you to the Senegalese Federation, to the President Senghor, yeah. and also to, to the Honorable Minister of Sports. Yeah, Omar, to be very Omar, honest, Omar, I mean, yes, Matarba. To be very honest, it was a big, big welcome for us. All the support we needed, all the inquiries we made, everything was answered. Everything was answered, and they are going to give us all the backup. It's costing us a lot of money, lot of money of because nothing is free. Yeah, absolutely, you, know. you understand? Yeah, nothing is free, even for themselves when they play a game. In that stadium, yeah, everything absolutely. has to be paid for. Absolutely. So, regardless of you know coming from here, mm. we also have to pay for everything. Well, Musa, I know the MC's roles. Okay, this does not fall in your roles. But how about the national team itself? What has been mm. their program guideline like in chess? Arriving in chess and, um, and, and putting up in chess. Oh, in fact, both teams for this for, for for that matter because. South Sudan is our business too. Yeah, uh, it's, our, it's, it's, our, it's our business. That is why. I we mean, want that to aspect of it. Uh, I mean, uh, William, it does not fall on you. No, 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 no. What no. do you know about the guidelines? Because people will be worried about that too. Quite yes, I mean, uh, we were together with the team manager in Senegal. The team manager of South the Sudan. of the national team of Gambia. Oh, okay, sure, okay. Sure. So, oh. He was with us, and yes. he has identified. In fact, I wanted him to part, but I had his, his yes. In Angola. He's identified about five hotels. Okay. And um, all the hotels have sent in their cost, mm -hmm. which the ministry is looking at to see which one they're going to choose. Mm -hmm. He's also given his recommendations mm -hmm. that I know of mm -hmm. as to which hotel they want, which is making transportation easy also for the, for the national team. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. All the um, escorts, police escorts have also been arranged. Mm -hmm. And the, um, the buses, they have prices, invoices have been sent in mm -hmm. for buses and cars and everything that is needed for the logistics. And I think the, um, the South Sudan national team mm -hmm. are responsible for their own hotel. hotel yes. So they have sent in a delegation to Senegal mm -hmm. to look at that also. Uh -huh. So in that area, I can say something. 
there is nothing confirmed mm. yet that I know of. Okay. But I know that we all went as an advanced team and we, as a Gambian delegation, mm -hmm. we went around and did inspection of the stadium, of the hotels and everything, and they already have all the information that they need. But it has been a challenge to get a hotel in Senegal because most of the big hotels oh. are all full. Mm. They have a lot of conferences. Yeah. And, but thank God, we have about four or five hotels that, that the ministry are looking at, which I'm sure they will choose the best one. I mean, you mentioned a point that Senegal would <coughs> be playing the same day, but that, of course, because of uh, the sanctions they had from their match against Egypt, they will play in, in closed doors. doors. Yeah. It doesn't that mean now that uh, we may have Senegalese fans uh, in numbers that we don't expect? So, I mean, of course, they will be <laughs> interested to watch television, but we may have a lot of Senegalese there, though. That's why people stay in chess. Yeah, and of course, that's. Do you have, or that's William, do you have a proposal next? in terms of ticket that can be sold to Gambians and Senegal? Absolutely, absolutely. William would would die we'll on, okay, on, we'll come on, that. on that. Because yes, we, we spoke about all those. The bulk of the tickets would be sold to the Gambian public. And of course, if at all there's any balance, would be also I mean, sold in, in Senegal. We yeah. expect the Senegalese population, of course, to come and support. We, want, we know that they want How to come. How do we determine? If, for example, we have 10,000 Gambians wanting to go, I mean, how do we determine that? This, uh, you must come to, you must arrive at a point of, you remember of, of, of Will, departure. Like William, William mentioned that, um, I mean, unfortunately, the stadium is just 8,000, yeah. um, the capacity. And then, of course, I mean, we are hoping that at least, if possible, 6,000 tickets would be sold in Gambia. Uh -huh. And the balance should be given to be considered for the, to the Senegalese, because, of course, you want them to come in. Okay. Um, but these are just modalities, depending on also, if at all, the Gambian public would be willing and prepared to buy those available tickets mm. because you don't know. We're hoping, we're hoping. I am hoping that, of course, they should come and grab all these tickets one time and, of course, even if possible, rule out the Senegalese from, you know, coming <laughs> to the stadium. That's also that. very difficult and not very, uh, I mean, not the best of things you want to see because you want all the, you know, compliments of... My worry, William, is that since the ticket is, is, is packaged, it's a package, comes as a package. It might not come as a package also. Uh, it might not. We are, we are it considering might not come as a all package. possible options in here because we might even want the, the people to just I um, mean buy their <coughs> tickets I mean find their way to to chess because that's why we're talking to the uh, transport union to make sure that they are available uh, I mean vehicles just as they do during the Magal to Tuba that I mean there's enough of vehicles to travel to, to transport the Gambian fans to uh, um, to chess what is happening charm is this of course it all has to do with finance mm -hmm. the package we are trying to negotiate with the bus companies I mean, seems to be very much on the high side of, uh, I mean, the federation in time to fund you this. You mean what the bus companies are, are asking for? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if the bus, if a bus is taking, for example, uh, I mean, 59 people or 15, 50 people, and then you're charging, for example, a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for do. per person, wow. uh, I mean, to go and come, because we know here to chess is about 600. Ah, it's return it's is going it's to be far from that. Return is return is you know I mean thousand two hundred for example mm -hmm. on the high side. Mm -hmm. You buy your ticket for thousand dollars. You're talking about two thousand two hundred. Yeah. You no, know you have to eat. You have, you have to eat. What we are trying to provide you with at least a lunch pack and something to drink. Mm -hmm. I mean along the way. Mm -hmm. So, if at all you are paying anything more than the accumulated mm -hmm. number of passengers on a single bus for that single trip. Mm -hmm. What's the point in doing it? You're looking for money. Mm. And instead, you're hemorrhaging money, you're losing money. Mm, money yeah. So what's the point of doing it? The Federation doesn't have money. EMC doesn't have money. I mean, we're just trying to, to, make, uh, uh, um, to, to make things happen. So that's a venture that we are trying to consider. If at all, the package doesn't seem right mm. for the purpose, we are going to ask the bus companies to say, you know what, put up your line of your buses. The public are here, and they have their ticket, thing. do your own thing. It's good business for you. Did you engage Mr. Abraham Gambe government in terms of, uh, for example, transporting the, uh, the funds? I mean, the government can come with its own package, or, uh, example, it can be free, it can be... I mean, governments have once hired planes for funds to go to Peru and other places. Uh, I mean, is, is, is there anything that possible to engage in them to, to help you in the terms of transport? We believe, I mean, we are just an extension of the Federation. The Federation they, uh, represents government. I'm talking about your engagement. Have, uh, have the Federation did that? Have um, they done that? Uh, Mr. Brown, Mr. 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 Do you think Mr. that that area has been explored? Yes, I mean, uh, we went first to GGSC mm. to fill their polls and see whether they have the number of buses required okay. to 
to take the funds. Mm -hmm. We demanded 400 buses. Mm -hmm. Now we just got the invoice two days ago mm -hmm. from them, and we feel that it's extremely high. high. Very expensive. We have to be fair with the Gambian fund. Do okay. you understand? As I said earlier, it is not the fault of the fund to go to Senegal. Absolutely. So it's the responsibility of the Gambian government, government yeah. to make sure that we transport the citizens mm -hmm. to go and watch this game. Yeah. So when we got this information, we as a committee cannot go to the government. Mm. So we've reported back to, to the, the federation, federation yeah, yeah. for the federation to and engage the, government. the relevant uh, authorities mm -hmm. so that they can look into this. I see. Yes. Ah, okay. That's, 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 that's so when do you think ticket selling may come? Whether it came as a pack, it come as a package or not? Because we have only about fourteen days or so to go. Yes. Um, Lamin, I want to talk about also you just mentioned about the percentage of tickets yes that's right we are going to be faced with a very very big challenge mm -hmm. the capacity senegal is playing mm -hmm. without funds yes senegal during the afghan they have been following gambia oh, yes. our development Absolutely. we've seen very positive uh, comments, comments reviews yeah. on facebook on about social gambia, media about the performance of gambia yeah. they all want to see our team yeah. we are playing in chess when we went as an advanced party mm -hmm. about 10 days ago, mm -hmm. all the people around chess, when they ask, oh, what are you doing here, so and so, they all want to watch the game. Yeah, they've known about it, yeah. We are going to allocate 20% of the tickets to Senegal. To Senegal. Oh, okay. And that is not for Senegalese. It's but for Gambia. Senegalese and Gambians. I see. Do you understand? It's a small stadium. It's a very small stadium. Right? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So we are allocating about 20% to the fans in Senegal, Gambian fans, and also the Senegalese who want to come and watch. Mm. So my advice is, here in Gambia, if mm -hmm. the tickets are not sold, mm -hmm. we will finally sell them in Senegal. Senegal. So please, we advise the general public, on Tuesday, this Tuesday, this Tuesday uh -huh. we are going to start selling tickets at the right. Federation. I see. We are going to open a special office there mm -hmm. that is only going to sell tickets to the fans. When you come, you will find uh, 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 a guy from the bank mm -hmm. sitting down with their computers mm -hmm. they will sell you a ticket give you a receipt mm -hmm. this receipt will be taken by somebody else in the same office mm -hmm. who will have a ledger to enter your name yeah. enter your receipt number mm -hmm. enter your id card number yeah. you must bring your id card then we will take your 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 category mm -hmm. you are sitting covered oh. uncovered or, or scoreboard okay. then we will take your phone number so then, on the day of the game, mm -hmm. whether we are transporting you or you we are not transporting you, yeah. we will tie your hand with a band, mm. with, a, with a wristband. Yes, wristband. That's this wristband. Has been done before, and yeah. these wristbands will not be out until the day of the game. Mm. After the game, because After. we need that for access. Yes, for access. Access. exactly. So on the day of the game at this stadium, yeah. we will have a lot of people that will be there with different list of names mm. so people will come to for example they will be all alphabetical mm -hmm. so that when you come to a they will tie your wristband mm. and then you are allowed to enter the stadium I see. do you understand mm. and we are we are doing this to avoid mm -hmm. what has been happening here in the stadium, stadium. people trying to duplicate tickets yeah. people trying to uh, Go through the back doors and stuff like the that. The wrong gate. You cannot even use the wrong gate. Yes. Because wow. if your if your ticket is, uh, I mean, I mean, you're an A, you mm. cannot go to gate B. B yeah. Because we're just trying to the conformity. Yeah. The what's happening um, in, in, in Gambia? You know, we we've, we've been doing so much wrong over the years that mm. our people have taken it as a norm. Unfortunately, mm. that we have to conform and change. That. Conform and change that issue. So perhaps going out to some of these events and knowing that oh, this is my place and my only place. I can move to that place. Mm. And this is my only gate, this is my only gate. Yeah. I cannot be, uh, I mean, I cannot have a ticket for this gate and then enter exactly. through that gate. And these are, these, these are things we believe that some of us need to really get used to uh, because it's the way forward. So there must be a closing date for ticket sales. Where, where, which the, closing date is on, the closing date is on the 3rd. On the 3rd, the yes. eve of the match. On the 3rd, it's on a Friday. On we a are going to stop selling tickets here as of 1 o'clock. Right. Because the same day, the staff of the federation would leave compile have, have to come to senegal mm. to chess yeah. with the balance of the tickets if we have any balance of tickets oh, I see. then we are going to sell tickets at the stadium the day before the game uh. at the stadium 
the day of the game, CAF is not allowing anyone to sell tickets no more. at the stadium. So we are going to identify certain areas in chess then where... You, you're probably talking about the, the, the second then, second June, for the closing of here. Because if you have to sell um, tickets in Senegal for a day before, that would be on the 3rd June. No, 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 no. We will sell tickets before the 3rd in, oh, in Senegal. We will come back and announce I see. people that are responsible for selling tickets in Senegal. Oh, I see. That's good. As of maybe uh, maybe by Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. But is we the independent stadium not, not just uh, maybe the, as the only selling point you have Didn't you have orders in other places? Or no, we, we, no, we have. Control. The Federation control. has control. identified a bank uh -huh. to sell the tickets. Oh, so can, can, can it be bought in the banks? And, and not the that is the responsibility. The banks are not allowing the fans to buy tickets from the banks. Oh, and that Because there is a lot of pressure on and their cashiers yeah, and ah, stuff like that. Oh, I see. So now that's why we have chosen mm. to sell the tickets at the, the, at the, uh, no, at the federation. At the, at the, the, oh, at at the football, football house. house. Oh, it's now at the football house. Yes, football. we will okay. be selling uh, tickets at the football oh, house sorry. on Tuesday morning. Onwards. <laughs> Onwards, we will sell the tickets. So we advise everybody. Mm -hmm. Something also was raised about people wanting to buy bulk wow, wow, tickets. Wow. As long as you come mm -hmm. to buy 20 tickets mm -hmm. and you have 20 ID right, cards, yes, we can ah, well, because well. every ticket has to be, represented has to yes. be recorded. Yes. What we want to do is, when we finish selling, mm -hmm. we want to take all these lists to the Senegal High Commission mm. so that they can send it probably to the border and so make it easy for us. Mm. We are going to somebody's country. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and imagine taking 5,000, 6,000 people, or maybe 7,000 or 8,000 people at the same, border, at the want, same time crossing the border. Cross we want, to we want all yeah. these individuals. Yeah. It's a tough one. We want people to arrive early into oh, chess. I see. And enjoy the game yes. and then come back home. So the protocol is just expanding more and more. Yeah. And more. Uh, what can we do? <laughs> we must do it. Absolutely. You know? it goes, yeah. And you know, in somebody's country, when you come to his border and he tells you, we have, to check you, we have to check we you, we have to search you, yeah, you, can. We, we, you have to comply. Ah. Another thing is also, we want to advise the general public. Mm -hmm. When they come to watch the game, mm -hmm. you cannot bring anything with you. No. CAF is not allowing that. And the Senegalese objects, security... Like harmful objects, objects. Yes. Water bottles, or, water bottles or anything, Perfect. any Project items that are dangerous. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, 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 CAF and the Senegalese security Would be there. have really told us Mm -hmm. They are not going to take chances with anyone. Of course, you know they. they I mean, they, they learn from I am. The, I am not a Senegalese. Oh, yeah. And if you call me and tell me, oh, can you help me? I can. I, I cannot. Cannot. No, yes, nobody can. <laughs> so, exactly. so, so it's, it's important everybody conform to the. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yes. And, and behave that you are not in the game. Oh, what yeah. you can get away with here, uh, which we, which we all know is not even acceptable. Exactly. But we still entertain it. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. Which is rather unfortunate. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. We will also have a lot of food sellers in the stadium. Okay. Very food good. sellers, drinks. Senegalese or Gambian? Senegalese. <laughs> oh, I told you I agree with No, uh, uh, Gambians are more than welcome to go and, and, and sell food. It's not a problem. If they can go. If they can go. For example, if a business, uh, yeah, if a food caterer wants to yes. go there, oh, it is free. To it is not no, a problem. No, no. We are not charging anything for this because no, it's, it's our obligation to have food sellers ah, for the fans. I see. So we've al already spoken with the Senegalese Federation. We've oh. told them to encourage more food sellers because people will be traveling in the morning. Ah. To come and watch the game and they want to eat have drinks or water or even attire cafe tuba it's all going to be available like right. yeah, fantastic you understand we are trying to make sure that when we arrive we are comfortable enjoy the game let's win and come back come back fantastic william abraham chairman yes. of the events management committee and musa sise uh, unless you have one or two more things to say we'll say we have exhausted the preparations yes. so far maybe musa can musa? speak a little bit in wolof or mandinka yes that's right. I mean, that, that's right. I mean, that's yeah. right. We can just set more lights wow. on. We will we'll go here. It's angle. They look at two minutes. Now we're going to go Okay. Look at what you got. General public break. Moi. Ah, you know what? And the affair in Magic Gambia and South Sudan. We want to play Senegal on the fourth of June. Si you don't tell your fans, si June. Senegal link want to play. Si you don't want to. Si start la your chess. Ticket si you don't command si jai ticket si. Um, talata si Gambia Football Federation. You get a ticket $1,000 si, for covered pavilion. Uncovered pavilion, the opposite covered B is $700. Scoreboard e is $500. You get a ticket for stadium for the Fandau. For the people who want to go, you try to go to the ticket. So you can go to the ticket. Talk to the Satan. You can get more than 8,000 tickets because the stadium is the only one. The stadium for the Fandau. 
te amuñ benen stadium fo amne mun nañ fa footballé gannaaw fofu si bes bobu dam senegal dañ wara football si 7 o'clock te ñom sen match bi kaf ala wuñ ben supporters fu ñu dugga fa so ñem tam sen fans yi dina ñu bugga gis timi gambe bi parce que si afcon bi ñom yeb ñu ñu doon walu rafet di ñu top social media di top development di gambe bi te ñom yeb ñu doon walu rafet so ñu ñaan yalla tam gambe si ñu gëna si ñu téla gëna si pour jëndal tickets si bes bo tam buñ fa égué dinañ am léka fo ci stadium bi dinañ fa am ndox soft drinks ak ataya café touba yo yeb dina fa am ko bu ñew pour jënda pour léka ak nané yo dina fa am benen affaire tam ñu ngi wa GTSU pour affaire transportation ñu ngi wa ak di transport union of gambia pour ñu dimbalé ñu tam ñu amal ñu ay moto ñu oyofal ñu price yi suko défé fans yi yeb ñu mëna égga sénégal ci jamma ñu dem ci dan maaj bi ñu mëna ñip ci wat ci jamma ñu contane xaar benen maaj bi jere ngeen def Moussa bisimilla Yes, ignore_time_segment_in_scoring mba jikira ko mbe bosol soto la ni mam bosol fana soto bundal be soto la mi ya lon ko momo ni yal tikero sang boso se tar lori amen bara ibula min ko mbe samba le ba jola ay samba wote tar lan to la bunda wo ko da ata tar lan to ko to bare ni o fana bota je ni transport union mol fana be ka chaka omar si sena la mol pour ya jibe motol soto no nyaadi le siare ngol pour be mol samba la nyaamen ties pour ke mon na wo bi o ñu ngol koy ka ko wato magal koy ka ke nyaame magal wato ni mbe mu kulete mi ya lon ko ni mol ya ka cha bare mbe duñu ñaan mo la doon pour ya ya doman doman fe ni sanno du ko reya kata yele ticketol san juuna fana ben fana la do ko aba sonen la ñaan ngalo ni ticket jël bi ta min senegal kan tu mo la fana be senegal mi yalla ko bi soori ñin ticketol la pour kana ñu ma jojji be ticketol manke pour gambe no dam maati ni gambe no la sang a betiata ni fi nga fi tojje mba sambal senegal la kata wa fi senegal ni ko lu fana min yalla ko fana laftan support la lami bare ñin rakko la dafa am luñ faate ticket du ñaata la ticket bi Yeah, I mean ticket all covered pavilion mo I mean 1000 dollars city covered pavilion covered is 1000 dollars mm -hmm. there is also a certain uncovered me along 700 long and in dol fana bi 500 ñun ticket category sa bolu bi 1000 dollars 700 and in 500 and in la mi along ko ñun ticket all from min ko mati jawol ñiko ndol ticket da duniya ko na ngam at atila di ata ba bari mol ka mi ticket all ser to ticket all man ser football le fond ser so wala na julia Okay, wahun jagi tiket sih dek. Yeah, we said it's 1,000 for covered, 700 for uncovered, which is the opposite the covered pavilion, and 500 for the flanks. Flanks, yeah. Yes. Okay, alright. So that's it. So for gambian sih, can you jai tiket for gambian sih cipir Senegal? No. Tiada yang aku menerima. No way. Like amne jauh amne jauh amun tiket. Wah hari sunday macam stadium di Dakar F C S Nengkom. Lain itu tiket di F C S. Nengkom jauh amne tiket. Alu. Ramai amne jauh amne tiket. Tiket si baru ud. It's only eight thousand tickets. Tiket si baru ud. Tet amga C S is all sitting. All sitting. Amu tiket. Amu tiket kamu nanya udah di tahu. It's not possible. Bukan kaf. Suspend you at in case you will play at for winning game. Ah, no, no problem. So, bugu yulul. So, the nine. So, more than the security are going to be very vigilant. It's very, very good, William. You appeal, read the appeal. Did they appeal Gambian public, be football fans? Compliance is important. Discipline is important. Linga mo na def sa sa deka mo mujigla. Doko mo na def deki jabo mujigla. So, the year we need to look into nini nip nyo dalal nip na you know what nyo nip ambassador slang the ambassador do 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 def law ham na or law ko def. So nyu gey nyan nyep nyu bai lulu sun hel sun jale anda sun team support len suka de feeling ngah nyu lon uti senegal nyu mon ko am mo endam lura fet liyep lo ko endi mo nyaka stadium wa wili wah na luler fu mugur 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 gi mona ubi sen no pa deglo ko dama buga ngawa hal mugur gi lan lan nyi sohla pur fason gi banya 
comme ni ko waxé ci anglais stadium bu es lañ so la stadium bu es la waaw um parce que ci ni ya ngi wax lu gëna import nga ni li so ci c'est le le kaf wax lolu suñ ko défé ci toga ni ni sax place bu ñu wax né mo fi am 20000 lañu du ko mutat non so dama wax so dañ bëgg stadium bu es la min ñun def nañ very well in the afcon government def nañ everything possible financially gambia dem nañ afcon yow bu nañ fancy yow bu nañ delegation spon nañ spon nañ lu bare 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 gambia ko they did extremely well c'est légitime so ça c'est légitime so amul yaay dem def lolu ci amlo fi nga play gambia government did extremely well ci afcon bi passé légui ñom ñoñu ko minal kaf légui ñu nañu duñ play fi legui nañu government bi dimbalé rek ñu bi lañu stadium us every region day wara am benn stadium su nekku des stadium pour host international match every region war nañu am gambia dafa bari talent la min this country is blessed with talent man mang ci football xamna ne talent ci is all over the country exactly and bu nekka football rek dañu am basketball courts volleyball courts am nga athletics lu nekka dañ ko wara am I mean we are a small country Wallahi. and we love sports. Say that to Gambia they play. Wallahi. Stadium da fa jël 20000 nit. Ni nek ci mbéda bi is more than 30000 nit. So li mo law ni ni dañ bëgg football. Tay every Gambian da fa bëgg set an national team player. Oh yes. Play ya ngi play abroad ñu ngi gis comment ci ñoo def on Facebook on social media ya ngi bi da a lot of supporting messages. So nañ ko continuer rek. Ngo. Nañ ñu dimal rek ñu tawal ñu. Exactly. So Today minister ngi deglu wala president wax nga bu non la stadium bu president si bobam dafa bugo football fa bugo wa wa lolo parce que kerek bi gambia bi gambia qualifier dafa ekedi telephone mu call si sasi pour congratulate boy si he was on the phone for over 30 minutes president si bobam dafa bugo football so bi mom ñu ko ñaan wax bi dal moy stadium bu bes wax nañ gor gor nañ gor gor xam nga ne lolu mu taam wala septembre non non wala lolou moy dafa long can be in yes definitely it can be in the plan nañ gor gor lañ yes. ñu tal ñu dal nañ gor yeah. wow wow musa thank you jerejef musa si c'est william abraham jerejef ñew bi ngeen ñew fi ci platform bi ni kerfatu live we hope of course we'll of course next week yeah because we have to we have to build down the count now mm-hmm. you might be you are the new still be here yes we are right. here on saturday yeah we are saturday. Saturday. bring us back lamin we will want the public and then we will update Absolutely. the general public about, about the scene yes yes, yes. yes. So your okay. seat, your seat is secured. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be back next week. Thank Until you, Lan. Thank you. On all Gamsel data bundles, buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. In the amount of Gamsel data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yai Borom menu and choose your data bundle now. Gamsel data is fast, lasts longer, and very reliable. Gamsel Yai Borom. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submersible pumps and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway or you can call us on 7657479980 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRx Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as 
kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.